I'm Scott Matheson, and I'm a performance athlete, and today we're doing a back workout. With my workouts, I like to train weighted movements first, followed by bodyweight movements. So today, we're going to do four weighted exercises, followed by four bodyweight exercises. The goal of today's workout is to use the weighted movements to really build your muscle, and to follow that up with bodyweight movements to make that muscle functional. All right, let's get after it. The first exercise is a 45 degree bench bent over row. We're doing four sets with a rep count of 12, then 10, then eight, then six. A key point with this movement is we actually wanna reach forward with the weight when doing the bent over row instead of letting the weight drop straight down. By reaching forward a little bit with the movement, you're gonna fully engage your lat muscle, getting a better workout, resulting in more muscle gains. Our second exercise is a bent over barbell row. We're gonna be doing four sets again, starting with rep counts of 12, then 10, then eight, then six. A key point on this movement, we wanna bend over as much as possible, keeping our back as flat as possible, resulting in the most muscle gains possible. I try to gently set the barbell down, touching the floor, just to get a full range of motion. I find that if I cut the movement short, not touching the floor, I'm not fully extending my back muscle. The third exercise we're doing is a deadlift. And again, we're gonna be doing four sets. The rep counts for this exercise are 12, 10, eight, and six. In general, when training with weights, I try to train every portion of a muscle group to fully develop that muscle group. For example, with back here today, we're training the upper and lower portions of the back. Our fourth exercise is a pullover. We're gonna be doing four sets at rep counts of 12, 10, eight, and six. When performing this movement, I try to have a little bend at the elbows, restricting most of my movement to my shoulders and my lap muscles, if possible. I like to end with this pullover movement because it's the easiest of the four weighted movements, and it's also a stretch preparing me for when I jump into my body weight movements. I believe that the best way to actually train your back is based on pulling movements such as lat pull downs and or pull ups. So now that we've gotten the weighted movements out of the way, we're gonna move over to body weight and really focus on pull movements. Exercise number five is going to be typewriters. We're gonna be doing four sets of as many reps as possible or till failure. I'm starting with typewriters because they're the hardest exercise of the body weight workout. The reason typewriters are the hardest exercise is you're not only pulling yourself up to the bar, you're sustaining your weight while moving yourself horizontally across the bar. One full rep is when you have pulled yourself to one side of the bar, move across the bar, and then back. Wait time between sets is anywhere from 30 seconds to about a minute. Our sixth exercise is archer pull-ups. We're gonna be doing four sets until failure. At this point, you should have fully exhausted yourself doing typewriters, and now with archer pull-ups, you're gonna use that last bit of strength you have left. Our seventh exercise is muscle-ups. We're gonna be doing four sets until failure. At this point in the workout, you're gonna feel tired, but try to keep your form as strict as possible and try not to kick. When repping out muscle-ups, especially during this set, it's good to keep momentum to help you with your form. Our eighth exercise is L-sit pull-ups. We're gonna be doing four sets until failure. The reason we're ending with L-sit pull-ups is it's the easiest of the four body weight exercises. It's a very simple movement. All we're doing is basically a pull-up and adding a V-sit to it, making the pull-up actually harder and training the core at the same time. Grip placement for this exercise is gonna be pronated just beyond shoulder width to really train your back. 
When performing L-slip pull-ups, if keeping your legs in a perfect L is too difficult, you can always go to a bent knee position and perform bent knee pull-ups. Now that you've performed both the weighted and bodyweight portions of this workout, you should feel exhausted and you should feel awesome. In my opinion, it's best to do a back workout at least once a week, if not twice a week. If your schedule allows twice a week, it's gonna result in maximum gains, but if you can only do it once a week, that's totally fine. The full breakdown for this workout is detailed for you below here at bodybuilding.com. If you have any questions for me about this workout or any fitness questions in general, you can find me on Instagram at Scott underscore Matheson underscore or on Snapchat at Scott Matheson. For more free videos and articles from athletes like me, come back to bodybuilding.com.